Okay, so my topic today is about the mortality rates in minorities and the factors that contribute to the high mortality rate in minorities are the economic status, the education, and health care that is provided to different minority groups. So the first point that I have is that inequalities in limited transportation have affected minorities in economic status and that's due to because some minorities live in poorer er areas poorer areas or um don't have a or aren't able to afford a car or any ways of transportation between uber lyft or anything like that or they don't have a bus station nearby or something like that so then they can't go get a job or go to the grocery store or do anything like that because they don't have any transportation. So if they can't get a job, then they're not going to have good money and a good source of income in order to get health care or in order to get places they need to be in order to take care of themselves or the people around them. And so with that comes the transportation not being able to get to health care. And... The healthcare differences and equality contribute to the mortality rate because it is shown that like a lot of like minorities and um like people that are not in the in uh the higher areas of income and social class don't get as uh as good of health care as the higher class or the higher social class, and so that can lead to the mortality rate because they're not getting what they need and if they don't have any transportation to get to work or the health care that they need then it could lead to future health problems or it can lead to ongoing health problems like becoming a bigger issue and I know an example of this is the um the mortality rate in cancer because um the stats show that 10 percent of african americans and hispanics um are prone to get or have shown that um they have a high rate of getting cancer and with cancer comes chemotherapy treatment and all of that and that can be really expensive for people to afford even higher social class so if they don't have transportation or the means to pay for that then there's no way that they can treat whatever they have in them and then the last point would have to be education and education leads to the mortality rate because like they say knowledge is power and it really is because if you don't know what's going on with your body or you don't know what's going on around you then how are you able to take care of yourself and when you can't take care of yourself that just leads to an in increase in death because you don't know like you don't know what's going on and you don't know anything and with, ed with education comes like the poverty cycle and the cycle with everything like the transportation you need transportation to get to school to get to work to get to the hospital to do what you need to do but if you don't have any of that then you can't learn and you can't make good choices because you one you don't have like the means the transportation to get to grocery stores to buy healthy food to buy all that and a lot of like lower poverty areas don't have like good healthy produce they just have like, whatever is available to them, which is not always the best. It's always packaged food or processed food. And if you don't have the right education in order to see, like, what's best for you, then you don't know what to put in your body. You don't know what to do. And that can lead to higher mortality rates as well.